eat this. I'm about to eat this little dude. <laughs> so <that's it. laughs> Already failing. I'm in Rome with Hannah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> she has something she wants to say to you. So we should be in Burkina Faso serving and cooking in holes, but <laughs> here we are. We're in Rome. <laughs> We're in Rome. <laughs> tower of the cathedral in the middle of the palace and it's a little windy up here and uh, but there's a gorgeous view of the city and the town and so I'm at which which uh, word I can't pronounce national park uh, here in Croatia, this is Erin. I made her hang out with me all day today. So um, we got to see a bunch of waterfalls and a bunch of lakes, and it was pretty cool. Beautiful. Yeah. So I really wish the weather was better for this, but it is pouring rain and it's going to continue to pouring rain the entire time I'm in Sarajevo. But I'm at the point where the two cultures of Sarajevo meet. So behind me, you've got a very like Vienna style, European style looking city. And if I just turn around, um, behind me over here, we have a very Ottoman uh, kind of architecture and style. This is the old part of town. Um, and these are just where the two different uh, empires, they, you know, they had control of the city and they, those are their two different areas. And so on the ground here, we've got Sarajevo meeting of two cultures. And then over here, there's this lovely spinny thingy where you can spin and figure out which side you should go on, the east or the west.
walking along the old ramparts, the city walls. You can maybe see the city, I don't know, you can see the cities behind me there. Um, but the one thing that Dubrovnik is apparently now known for is the fact that they film a lot of Game of Thrones here. And so over here you have this lovely fortress where they filmed it. And then down these ramparts they did and a bunch of other places. So they have lots of that going on now, I guess. But it's a very cool city. It's a beautiful city. Um, and there are a lot of tourists here. behind me and some lovely greenery going on and then Vesuvius is right here and I'm only a little little concerned that it's gonna pull a Dante's peak and explode on me but uh, we'll fight those odds but if you close your eyes does it almost feel like nothing changed at all and if you close your eyes does it Venice together um, and there are literally gondola people behind us and a lovely woman singing opera and we've been following this guy with the accordion, accordion unconsciously all day today. Anything to add? Uh, point the camera up to see the tower. Uh, uh, the, the tower you can't see? Ah, oh, there, there we, we go! go. <laughs> Everything's gorgeous. Love it. Bye guys. Caitlin and I are here again. Caitlin. Hello. And uh, we've got fake David between us. Don't worry. We've seen the real David. Um, but this one's just fake. And then and we're gonna we're gonna twist around here. See, I can't see anything. There we go. And uh, I've got Florence behind me. So uh, pretty cool. Pretty great view. Fake David. That's the sunset. Oh, now you can't see it. There, we'll try it again. Sunset. There's me. Um, and I'll turn it a little bit so you can see. I am in Rio Maggiore in Italy. It's, it's in Saint Terre. And I probably butchered that. I'm sorry, Luca. And um, it's a very cool town and a very cool area in general. All these cute little seaside towns where people hang out on the beach and drink wine and look at the sea, which is my favorite thing to do. So I had a lot of fun.
So Caitlin and I are in Tivoli, Italy, which is near Rome, uh, and we both simultaneously agree that we're in Pemberley, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. This is what Jane Austen was talking about. Yeah. Um, this is, what is this place called again? Villa, Villa Deste. Villa Deste, and it is gorgeous. I'm going to spend a little bit. Sorry, Caitlin. Uh, there's a fountain over here. You can kind of see there's more. You can't see anything because the sun's there, but whatever. There's fountains, and this place is huge, and it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. 